Despite being home to over 70% of Indians, rural and non-metro areas face a significant shortage of quality diagnostic services. Medtech startup Sictuple, along with diagnostic players like Krishna Diagnostics, is aiming to bridge the gap by leveraging AI to deliver efficient and quality services into the hinterlands of India. We are here at one of their centres in Mohali to see how they are bringing digital healthcare services to the rural population. Diagnostics is very crucial to establish treatment. Now in a place like Roru, where the sample gets transferred to a place like Shimla, at some places it takes 12 hours, some places it takes 24 hours. So the entire treatment is delayed. Considering these are far off places, so obviously there are not much volumes, but that doesn't mean that they don't deserve that quality of care which is there in any tier one city. There are other fields in which digitization is always there and it has changed our lives a lot. But uh, the, what we also need is a value for money proposition which is much much better in terms of quality without compromising. And then uh, the love happened with Sictuple. Krishna has deployed Sictuple's automated digital microscopy AI100 across three states, Punjab, Himachal Pradesh and Maharashtra with plans to digitize its entire network of pathology labs. Currently, Krishna has deployed 25 such machines. What we do today is basically we try to make the life of the pathologist simpler by automating the most cumbersome part of their task. Now if you look at this, look around in this lab, you'll see most of the job is being done by machines which give out numbers. But there are certain functions in this lab which require manual screening, which is basically looking at a sample under a microscope. Basically we automate that process through AI and robotics. The robotics is an automated digital microscope which can take in a physical sample and convert it into microscopic digital images. And those images are transported to a cloud-based platform, AI platform. What the AI does is, is tries to mimic what a doctor would have done by looking at the sample under the microscope. It basically picks up the different kinds of cells, different types of abnormalities and all that. And that result is then presented to the doctor on a web browser, which makes it accessible from anywhere, anytime. So AI100 is the only hardware that is there uh, we have now. But unlike most other medical devices, this single hardware is able to do multiple types of tests. So today uh, we, are, uh, we have released, commercially released, the solution for blood cell analysis. There, we are going to release the solution for urine cell, anal cell analysis in the coming two, two to three months. The tie-up between Krishna and Sictuple is helping reduce the turnaround time, standardize reporting quality and increase efficiency in delivering quality healthcare services to the rural population. This uh, technology is used for abnormal patients, the patients who really need the diagnosis fast. So the way uh, the technology and the collaboration of uh, Sictuple technology with the existing hematology analyzers are helping us first is 24-7 uh, service which is available. So the hematology report or predominantly the digital uh, CBC report uh, can be availed at any point of time within a desired two hours. Second uh, takeaway is emergency reports. Emergencies can arise anytime, anywhere and for any patient. Third part in terms of the patients is his uh, money is saved further because he need not waste time giving the sample and then coming back again for collecting the report, then coming back again the third time to take an appointment for the doctor. One visit, his sample is given, his report is generated and he gets a consultation also. Data and AI in the healthcare industry can potentially add 25 to 30 billion dollars in India's GDP by 2025 as per a NASCOM report. Now given the potential, there is no doubt that AI and digital health will continue to gain prominence in the coming years. While the challenges remain, a robust infrastructure, proper implementation and cooperation between private and public players can definitely help scale digital health in India. With camera person Sarod Singh, Eshwarya Anand for CNBC TV 18.